It's been just over a week since Elder Alfonso Marin Sotelo and Bruce Callahan escaped from the Piedmont Regional Jail in Farmville. Both inmates are now in custody. Callahan was found three miles from the jail, while Marin Sotelo was found in Mexico. The jail superintendent says the inmates manipulated the locking mechanism on the rear door of the jail to escape 22 hours apart. Records unveiled by CBS 6 showed the jail was aware that some locks were failing months prior to the incident. The jail authority board denies that the locks they discussed replacing were in the same area where the inmates escaped. The jail's repercussions from the incident became known to the public Tuesday at a jail authority board meeting. The U.S. Marshals pulled their inmates from the jail, according to jail superintendent Jerry Townsend. He told the board federal inmates made up 42 percent of the jail and brought in over $2.7 million per year. Which will drastically uh, impact our fiscal year 23-24 budget. As a result, officials are proposing the authority board make 20 percent budget cuts in many areas like salaries, bonuses and capital improvements. They also talked about making cuts to medical. That's notable because back in 2013, the Department of Justice filed and settled a claim with the jail regarding not providing adequate care to inmates. I think it's incumbent on us to get to a point where we're not increasing the budget of our localities at this late date. And two, we're also providing the capital make you know, improvements. Retired jail superintendent Ernest Tony showed up to that special called board meeting Tuesday. I was shocked and uh, I was kind of saddened as well you now because there's so many questions that have to be answered. But I, I do have faith in the staff. I have faith in the organization. He also came as a concerned citizen regarding the impact of the withdrawal of federal funding. It's going to impact everybody, but especially those from Prince Edward County because Prince Edward pays the lion's share. Uh, to operate the jail because they house, they typically house more inmates than the other localities. The authority board claims the amount localities owed won't increase if the proposed 20 percent cuts across the board are passed. I asked Superintendent Townsend about that. Hey, sir, wanted to just see if you had any comment in regards to what happened still. I said, wanted to see if you had any comment in regards to what happened and if you're concerned at all about the funding. No, ma'am. For now, Townsend says he plans to meet with the U.S. Marshals directly. We're going to make every effort and I feel confident that we can reinitiate that, that contract.